Well, vandals, they really made a mess of a northern Kentucky cemetery. They used spray paint. They toppled over headstones. It's just an awful sight. Local 12's Christian Hauser has been there uh, this morning. Christian, what in the world happened there? Well, David, honestly, Ellesmere police are still trying to figure out uh, just who did this and why. But the, the important thing is today, a cleanup effort and restoration effort is starting around noon. Anyone who can lend a hand is welcome to join. We're at Mary Smith Memorial Cemetery again here in Ellesmere. Now, social distancing as well as mask wearing, that's all going to be, um, or they're going to ask everyone to do that here just to try to keep everyone safe. But back to what happened. Police say that vandals came in here. They spray painted some uh, anarchist symbols on the entrance sign as well as on some tombstones. Now, this is an historic black cemetery. About 30 headstones were toppled from their bases. Some expletives were also spray painted on the pavement and headstones. Now it's believed the vandalism occurred sometime early this month. Now this cemetery was formally founded in 1950 and was one of the first African-American cemeteries in Northern Kentucky. Now unfortunately there are no witnesses that have come forward so far to Ellesmere police and there are no video cameras in the area to kind of um, provide any evidence as to who may have done this and and again no one here knows why they did this um, the park board or excuse me the cemetery board is reaching out to Duke to see if there can be some additional street lights put up in the area because I got to tell you when we first got here this morning it was just pitch black you couldn't see anything so if anybody came in here at night no way that anybody could spot them for now though live in Ellesmere Christian Hauser local 12 news so Christian when did you say people are going to be showing up there if anyone else wants to show up and help Right around noon, so hope, hopefully it'll warm up a little bit because it is absolutely freezing out here, but uh, we can start to see the sun kind of coming up uh, up over the east. But again, about noon is when it should be happening. And again, a lot of work to do, a lot of headstones that will need to be toppled, and then some scrubbing on these, uh, these other headstones that had spray paint put on them. All right, thank you, Christian. Police think that teens could be responsible. They are asking anyone with information to call 859-342-7344.